It's 6.30 in the morning. Mm -hmm. Tacoma, Washington. Drove down last night to the Tacoma Comedy Club. I fucking ripped it. He, uh, just last second, I, uh... I did okay. We're going to Dockside Donuts right before our 9 to 5 jobs. We're working men. Let's go. I like them glazed. I gotta taste it. Shoving donuts in my face like I'm wasted. Beautiful sunrise over here, just like you. <laughs> I brought these one day into the office, and there were people that were like, this is the best donut I've had in, in my time at Zip Whip. Best donut yeah. ever. Yeah. So I don't know if that's just because people are so used to just having Krispy Kreme as like kind of a low bar. Yeah. Or if these really are that good. So. They have a drive through and it might be 24-7. We don't know. It's a Tacoma thing. They like 24-7. people lurking at the night. Yeah, I showed up at 5 a.m. And I was like, you guys open? And Were you like, sober? Yeah. yeah. Stone cold sober. <laughs> what do you call someone from Tacoma? A taco mommy. I think it's... Tacoma night. Tacoma night. Or Taco Maniacs. Or. Taco Maniacs. Someone call them Tic Tacs. <laughs> I, I heard that the other day, I swear. I was like, Tax or something. I don't like that one. Now I'm offended. I get where Tyler's coming from. <laughs> I think the longer, more eloquent words are typically less offensive historically. I'm not going to list out the offensive words that I could think of right now, but usually the harsh sounding ones are the harsh ones. <laughs> that sounds right to me. So attack, oof, uh, it's, it's too crisp. Yeah. <laughs> Taco mommy is just too weird for it to be. <laughs> you can't, you know, you have to be, if you're being racist, you, your, your racist terms need to be like short and sweet because you're screaming it across the street. <laughs> Get on the sidewalk, you <laughs> Like it's gotta be. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't say a taco mommies. <laughs> Not too much more than like two syllables there. We're coming up on it right here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Tell you, buddy. Oh my gosh. This, this is what happens when you come early. Good morning. We are excited. That's how we are. Mm. See, look at these things. Awesome. Doesn't look like a fucking donut, dude. I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah. Also, fairly affordable. Yeah, once it's around a dollar, I'm happy. Mom. I haven't had a cooler in like years, so I'm glad you made me get one. Yeah, Steve. Just want a bitch. Man. Oh, it's a coma. Really good. Yeah, it's cool. Cool. You, bro. Fucking with my donuts in a bag. That's fucking nice, bro. <laughs> I'm at work. I'm taking a big dump after some big donuts. They were kind of small, so that was a lie. Alright. I feel sketchy. Because <laughs> there's going to be someone walking in. It's fine, it's fine. I risk it for you guys. Um, Dockside Donuts, Tacoma, Washington. We did walk in so we could shake some hands and meet some people. Um, the space, I could tell it's where truckers hang. It's where the cool kids come late at night. It's a Tacoma safe haven, which are, there are many in Tacoma, so. Guys, it was a quick grab and go. We got a couple French crullers, glazed rings, chocolate glazed, and then an old fashioned donuts. Had to test the staples, they had a lot more, but we only had so much time. First bite of the chocolate glaze, I was impressed. It wasn't some fake chocolate, that was some real chocolatey flavor. Just glazed ring, super impressed. That's my bias, it's my favorite fucking donut. That's one of the best I've had in a long time. Man, the old fashioned, it's something they love in Seattle, but this one almost tasted fruity. Wasn't a fan, uh, didn't finish it really. Crullers I haven't had in years. Literally haven't had a French cooler in 10 years. I don't know what they taste like, so this one was solid. I enjoyed my experience. Really light, airy, fluffy. I'm pretty sure it's what it was supposed to be, but nothing special, so. Um. Thanks for joining us. I don't know how to flush this toilet, so we just kind of get it. See you guys.